Back from medicine to manufacturing, 3D printing is reshaping industries and changing lives. Now it is shaking up the toy industry. Our next guest started a company that's gone viral in a matter of weeks by creating personalized Lego heads using 3D technology. Joining us right now is Funky 3D Faces founder, Chris Lightfoot. Chris, good to see you. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for inviting me. Well, we're looking at our funky faces right here. I've got mine in my hand. How, how, how is this done? This is really cool. Thank you for the funky faces. <laughs> That's all right. That's no problem. Uh, yeah, it's, it's quite simple technology, really. Um, we just use a, it's a 2D to 3D conversion software that was developed for the gaming industry. And all I've done is just made it so that you can actually uh, print a physical uh, product from it. Wow. And we use... Uh, special 3D printers which print in full color. Did you work with Lego on this? Uh, no, no. Um, oh, because they look like Legos. <laughs> we're not That's endorsed the only by Lego in any up. way. Uh, yes, uh, um, all we do is we make a miniature version of your own head that so happens to fit on Lego. I would love you. it if Lego was actually uh, involved with us, um, but they're quite a big company in uh, relatively Chris, difficult Chris, to get Chris, I'm very with. impressed. I'm holding a gun, which I didn't know I could shoot a gun. Where'd you get that? <laughs> Why are we holding little guns? I'm just curious. At least I am. They're terrible. <laughs> well, I thought it might be funny if you could all have a little battle with each other on air. <laughs> yeah, video games. I mean, like, you know, this is what, what kids want. And I'm here with Joel and Kent, Dagan McDowell, and, and Cheryl Cassoni, and we're all uh, admiring our, our 3D funky faces. So cute. Um, Mine looks a, a lot like myself. Chris, what are the other applications of this in terms of what you guys are going to produce? <laughs> See, it uh, looks like well, me. I mean, this is only one small thing that we, that we do. Um, we also make things like uh, bones for the medical industry and architectural models and things like that. Uh, but the, uh, the, the fun element of it um, with the Lego heads, we've also looked at the, the card industry, seeing if we can make a 3D face um, to be put on a card or fridge magnets, which look actually a little bit freaky. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, there's yeah, lots of different uh, elements. How are you seeing demand change as 3D printing becomes more affordable and little toys like this maybe become popular with young kids? Uh, well, I think the opportunities are going to uh, increase as, as we go forward. Um, the reason why I wanted to do the Lego heads is, uh, is purely down to the cost because it's, uh, it's expensive technology and most people when they see 3D printers and, and, and 3D printing technology, it's, it's a little bit out of reach uh, in mm -hmm. terms of price. So I wanted to do something where we use the, the fantastic technology that we've got but in, in the smallest possible size purely to bring the cost down so that everybody could afford to get one of these and I think as, uh, as we move forward we probably be able to um, do something better with the price, make it more affordable for people. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of interest out there. It's uh, really extraordinary it, when you look at toys or even medical equipment um, uh, really coming into new uh, revenue places for 3D technology. Chris, thanks so much. Appreciate your time this morning. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me. Chris Lightfoot joining us.